Joining me now is a former president of Ukraine, Petro Poroshenko. Thank you for joining us on this day. I just wonder, first of all, your thoughts a year on from the beginning of this invasion. First of all, this is not a year, but nine years of the Russian war and one year from the full-size invasion. And I'm now in the Donbass and Donetsk region, uh, not very far from the front line, together with our soldiers, delivering the all support. And we do maximum we can to increase the uh, combat possibilities for Ukrainian armed forces, and exactly that do every single Ukrainian. And I'm very much uh, pleased and appreciate for the extremely efficient step of our global partners, including United, Na including United Kingdom. With that situation, we really demonstrate that uh, everything has changed for this year. The lesson we learn is number one. World well, learn from Ukrainian, don't trust Putin. Number two, world well, learn from Ukrainian, don't be afraid of Putin. And number three, well, learn how to keep united to stop any aggressor, crazy maniac Putin, military criminal Putin, together with the troops of Russian Federation, which kill innocent civilian victims in Ukraine, and which do extremely dangerous military crime against humanity. Mr. Poroshenko, how important is it, how crucial is it that you get uh, Western fighter jets, uh, fighter jets from, from NATO countries in the United States and so forth? Please, uh, we have the formula of victory. Point number one is the weapons. And the fighter jet alone cannot solve the problem. This is just stop. Russian air dominance in Ukrainian sky. It is not less important that we need armed personal carrier, more than 1,500 pieces. We need the tanks, and we are very much appreciate the United Kingdom for the challenger. We need air defense, we need long range missile, and now as an air, we need an ammunition. And with that situation, we welcome the Rammstein decision, and I want to deliver you the information. We have enough weapons to withstand uh, and stop the Putin troops, but we do not have a weapons to provide effective offensive operation and throw Putin away from the Ukrainian soil. With that situation, factor number one is the weapons. Factor number two is sanction. And we are very much pleased that the today British government, today with your Prime Minister Sunak, make an important decision about the sanction, but sanction should stop ability of Russia to finance war in Ukraine. Point number three is a justice, and justice is a military tribunal against Putin. Point number four is a financial support. Point number five, this is the full membership of Ukraine in NATO. And today, uh, Jan Stoltenberg invite Ukraine to NATO summit in Vilnius, but it would be extremely important to have the invitation from all NATO member states for Ukraine in full membership of NATO. It's interesting uh, that you say there weapons for offensive, offensive operations against the Russians. Uh, till now, there has been this emphasis on operations to help you defend your country. There's, there is a, a, a real difference there. Definitely, yes. We need a, a long-range missile to destroy all the logist, logistics, all the headquarters and all the ammunition. The, uh, we're not talking about one single step on the Russian territory. We said that this year we have occupied uh, more than 20% of Ukrainian territory, because before that it was only 7%. This year, Ukraine lost 35% of our economy. We lost 50% of our critical energy infrastructure. We lost 70% of our iron and steel. And with that situation, but, and the most important thing, 
We lost uh, dozens of thousands of innocent civilian victims. Seven million of Ukrainians uh, should leave the country. Two and a half million of Ukrainian children this year go to the school abroad. Eight million uh, people additionally to the seven million is an uh, internally displaced uh, person. And with all these things, we need as an heir, and not only in the future, but now, in March or April, we should organize together the offensive operation to throw Russia away from Ukrainian land, to stop this war, and to uh, start the process of the uh, rebuilding. Because we in Ukraine fighting not only for our soil, not only for our people, we are protecting free democratic world. And Putin fighting, not only with Ukraine. All the time now he speaks. We okay. he fight okay. against West. Okay, uh, former President Poroshenko, thank you very much.